Hello, my name is Raj Kumar Kohli and I'm a technical marketing engineer in enterprise switching team primarily focusing on Catalyst 9000 switching platforms and campus architectures. In this video, we'll discuss briefly on the precision time protocol support on Catalyst 9000 switching platforms and go over a quick demo on how AES67 can help build an audio over IP network leveraging Catalyst 9000 switching platforms. We have different models in the Catalyst 9000 family of switches varying all the way from access to core in both fixed and modular form factors to support flexible deployments. Port speeds range all the way from 10 meg to 400 gig speeds across the platforms. Precision time protocol on the Catalyst 9000 switching families is supported starting from 9300L to 9600 platforms, which are the core platforms. For more specific details on a per platform basis, please refer to the PDP configuration guide of each platform, which can be found on the Cisco documentation page. Precision time protocol is supported in stackwise deployments with Catalyst 9300 platforms where you can stack up to eight switches for a single control and management plane along with distributed forwarding. PTP is also supported in stackwise virtual deployments with Catalyst 9400, 9500 and 9600 where you can combine two switches for a single control and management plane with distributed forwarding. Catalyst 9000 switches support 1588.v2 profile which is the default profile. 802.1 AS profile both in standalone or in AVB deployments. AS67 profile and G8275.1 profiles. Catalyst 9000 switches can act as both transparent and boundary clocks in the PDP domain. This combination of hardware and software features help with onboarding time sensitive applications on existing deployments without having a need to build a standalone dedicated network. One of the challenges that customers face today with multi-vendor audio deployments is the capability to seamlessly broadcast the audio streams across different vendor endpoints. AES67 provides interoperability between different audio over IP protocols and technologies allowing various devices and systems from different manufacturers to communicate seamlessly. AES67 is an open standard that defines a set of rules and requirements for transporting audio streams between devices over IP networks. AES67 is particularly relevant in the broadcasting and professional audio industries where the need to transmit audio signals over IP networks has become increasingly common. For the network switch to be AES compliant, the switch must support precision time protocol and should also have the capability to provide appropriate QAS treatment to both PTP control packets as well as media traffic. Catalyst 9000 switches are AES compliant along with the capability of supporting up to 16 sync packets per second. Let's take a quick look at the demo to see how you can onboard AES67 streams onto a network designed with Catalyst 9000 switches to build a wireless intercom system. For this demo, we are using two Catalyst 9300 switches where we have readle endpoints connected and a Catalyst 9500 switch which is acting as an aggregation switch. We have a Riedel Bolero NSA002A connected to 9302 switch. This provides bidirectional signal conversion between analog signals and AES67. This is where we have the audio source connected, which is going to broadcast a stream across the network. We also have a Bolero antenna connected to 9301 where there are two build packs that are wirelessly paired with this antenna. The goal here is to have the build packs receive the audio stream that is sourced at 9300-2. We 
We are also leveraging power over Ethernet capabilities on both the 9300s so that the endpoints are powered by the switch rather than an external source. On the bottom are the build packs that are wirelessly paired to the antenna connected to 9302. On the left top is the audio source. Here we are only picking the audio source and not the video. On the right, these are the Catalyst 9300s and a 9500 that are configured as boundary clock for this PTP domain. The endpoints here also have PTP enabled so they can get the clock from the Grandmaster for this AES67 domain and are in sync with the Grandmaster always. We see the boundary clock being enabled on 9301 9302 and 9500 switches. This CLI command shows the type of the boundary clock that's being enabled on the switches. 9301 is acting as the grandmaster for this AES67 domain. Here we see the switches are locked to the grandmaster which is 9301 in our case. All the other switches in this PTP domain along with the endpoints will be locked to this grandmaster. We are also going to verify the same on the Bolero NSA connected to 9302. We can see the Bolero antenna is in locked state and is in sync with the grandmaster. We can see the Bolero NSA002 device is locked to the grandmaster as well and is operating in slave mode. All the devices across the path from the source to the antenna that have build packs wirelessly paired have been enabled for AES67. We will try the channel on one of the build packs to see if you are able to get the stream that is sourced from the audio endpoint. We've been waiting over the last five years for something to get better or to wake up to things being back. As you can see, the audio stream is being picked up, which is being sourced from the audio device that is connected to 9302. This stream is flowing from the audio source that is connected to the Bolero system, which is in turn connected to the IP network built on Catalyst 9000 switches. From there, it goes to the antenna and then picked up wirelessly by the bell packs that are paired to the antenna. Let's try the same with the second build pack. To normal, it just wouldn't happen. And I think that what we have to now deal with is that the new reality is that there's always going to be some sort of crisis. It just feels like that's the world we live in. But what we learned during the pandemic is that the technology is incredibly powerful. Now you can see both the bell packs are picking the audio stream seamlessly from the audio source. You can connect multiple of these bell packs across the switches along with the antennas to the IP network to seamlessly build a wireless intercom leveraging AES67 and the Catalyst 9000 switching platforms. Hope this video is helpful. Thanks.